Um, Kate Tichinet, you are watching InstaForex News Channel. This week seems to be one of the most uh, peaceful in recent times for traders tracking only statistical data. Yet the market sentiment is mostly driven by various political factors at the moment. Starting from tomorrow, statistics will top up this week's informational basis and complicate forecasting further movement of currencies. Nevertheless, we will help you to figure it all out. So, you are watching a video calendar of a Forex trader by InstaForex. Tomorrow, the day is going to begin with the Japan's inflation data, which is expected to reflect a long-awaited acceleration of the prices growth. However, the Japanese statistical data does not have a significant impact on the trader's sentiment. The yen still depends on the market tensions and currently they are quite a lot. The escalation of the trade tensions between the United States and China is back in focus. Investors are waiting for the upcoming negotiations uh, that should take place on November 30 at the G20 summit. Primarily, these worries are the reason for the ongoing demand for the yen. But let us get back to inflation. We will look at the euro area this time. The topic of price increases is more relevant here, as the European Central Bank is to publish its minutes from the meeting on monetary policy tomorrow. Investors consider that in October inflation in the region rose to its maximum since December 2012. This fact forces the central bank to take drastic measures. Anticipation of these changes keeps the euro-dollar pair from falling, which was supposed to happen in view of political uncertainty with the Italian budget. Traders hope for the ECB to look at the possibility of ending its quantitative easing program as soon as possible. In case, if the market notices the hints of the upcoming changes in the monetary policy, the euro will develop an upward rally and continue to grow even the next day, in, um, despite of the neutral statistical data from key sectors of the European economy. The indexes are to be published on Friday by IHS Market. One more inflation-related release will close the week, the CPI report from Canada. The index is expected to climb by 0.1%. Even such a slight growth will encourage the market. The Bank of Canada is not anticipated to take any significant decisions as its interest rate had been already increased up to 1.75% at the previous meeting. Obviously, Friday data will not become a reason to tighten the monetary policy once again. Therefore, the inflation index is going to have a weak impact on the Canadian dollar. The influence of oil quotes over the loony will be way stronger, especially due to the upcoming meeting of OPEC and 11 more major oil producers, where the participants must agree on the amount of further oil production. Considering that oil prices are near several months lows at the moment amid oversupply concerns, it's logical to expect that a decision to cut production will follow so oil prices uh, could stabilize. In case if such decision is made, oil prices will gain ground as well as the commodity currencies, including the Russian ruble and the Canadian dollar. You are watching Forex Trader Calendar on InstaForex TV channel with me, Kate Stichina. We wish you profitable deals with the InstaForex.